I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw, draw ancient Hebrew coins. I take one finger over here on the left and put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a wavy, wavy line down and stop. Come back to the dot. We're going to draw another slightly wavy, wavy line. Connect. I come back over here on the right. One finger, one dot. We're going to do the same thing again. Slightly wavy line down and stop. Come back to the dot. Slightly wavy line down. Stop and connect. I come back over here to this first coin. I put two fingers inside and put a dot right here in the center. Right there, I'm going to draw a straight line to the left, straight line to the right. On the right hand side, I draw a curved line in, out, and a straight diagonal. Come on the left hand side, I draw a straight line in, curved line out, straight diagonal touch. Okay. Starting over here on the left, I draw a big curved line down, over, and up. I come back at the top and I'm going to draw one, two, three, four flat straight lines. Come on the right. One, two, three, four flat straight line. Come back to the left. Slightly curved line up, down, connect. On the left, slightly curved line up, down, on the right. Come back to the left. We're going to draw a curved line, big curved line down, straight line, connect. On the right hand side, curve line out, curve line down, straight line off. I come inside on the right hand side and I draw one curve line, two curve lines. I come on the left hand side and I draw one curve line. I come right above, right here, and I put a dot, curve line down, up, connect on the left, put a dot, curve line down, up, connect on the right. If you have room, we're going to mimic, draw this little skinny mini line all the way across, up, and connect. Okay, these coins go all the way back to 378 B.C. They used Hebrew images and symbols, and that's what we're going to do over here on the right. Put a dot. We're going to draw a straight diagonal down. Come back to the dot. Straight diagonal down. Come back to the left. Straight line across. Connect. Come up on the right, uh, left. Put a dot. Straight diagonal down. Straight line across. Straight diagonal down. Connect. Right in the center, we're just going to draw a baby circle. Now, we're going to mimic the lines we just drew. Straight line, straight line, keep going. All the way around the lines you just drew. Keep going, keep going, connect. If you have room, and you should have some room, you can come inside and draw these lines again also. Straight line, straight line. Now, again, come back to the top, and we're going to just draw skinny mini, curved line, all the way around, and connect. Okay, let's see how we're going to color these in. Okay, the great thing about doing an antique drawing is that you're limited a little bit on your colors. So I'm going to go ahead and do some triple coloring. We're going to put a little bit of yellow on our main figure. And this figure I found a lot of times when I was doing my research, so obviously this symbol was used a lot. It kind of looks like a person with some swords out or knives or something. 
So I'm going to put a little bit of yellow all over that. Then I take my brown and I loop de loop over the top because these were made out of metal and bronze sometimes and they would not be shiny they would be dull plus these have been in the ground for thousands of years so I'm going to come around and just do a light brown over the top and I'm going to put a little bit more emphasis on my rim now what was interesting about these also is that if you were Roman you would have a picture of Caesar let's say if you were Egyptian, you might have Cleopatra. I don't know who or what Hebrew symbol that represents, but it must be important because it was on so many of them. Now, you take your black and you're just going to go over a little bit of your main figure. Don't forget your inside. Your little teardrops over here and your round things. And then come back around the edge. Just give a little black. Don't go crazy with your black because then you'll lose your design. That's why you have to be careful. Put a little bit of loop-de-loop. -loop. Not too much. because You don't want to lose your symbols. Alright, the next one, we're going to use blue-green and we're going to do the outside rim. And it doesn't have to be a total dark color you can just kind of give yourself a first coat of color because we're going to triple color this also your star of david that's their symbol ancient hebrew symbol okay and i'm using a light green because these look very bronze to me and bronze oxidizes and turns kind of a bluish green so I'm going to go ahead and put a light green over everything. Okay, but since it's been in the ground for thousands of years, and it is really, really old, we'll just take our black and go over the rim like we did before. Lightly loop-de-loop, -loop, not too dark. You don't want to lose your, your design. Okay? Pretty easy. Okay, artifacts. Ancient Hebrew artifacts, coins. All right, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here are my ancient Hebrew coins made out of molds, liquid metal, stamped with these images. Okay, bye-bye.